Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to talk about something that is a mystery for a lot of people and it's even a mystery for enterprise sometimes. Um, software, but here we'll talk about Windows, but it's not just Windows thing. It's um, general software thing. Um, sometimes you'll see and for example when you go and download to a Windows update from the Microsoft Update Catalog you might have noticed that there's versions of the update that goes with, you know, Windows 11 or Windows 10, and it says LTSB next to it. And of course, you might be wondering, what is that? Well, LTSB um, is simply um, a long-term support branch. So basically, it's the long-term servicing branch of Windows in this case, but it's not just Windows. Uh, you have long-term servicing branches for web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and so on, um, Adobe products, whatever. Uh, most of the most popular software have their long-term servicing branch versions. It's not for everybody. Long-term servicing branches are not available to customers like you know regular folks like you and me that just use a standard PC. It's not meant for that. But it is mostly a enterprise model. So if you have an enterprise version of software, with your browser, be it Windows and so on, you can get the long-term servicing branch version. That means that you have more time between each new version of Windows. The long-term servicing branch means that you'll stay on in version much longer than everybody else. And an example of that, if you look at 20H2 for Windows uh, 10, 20H2 is, un is not supported anymore, but you might have seen that updates have a KB number for 20H2, but it will say 20H2 LTSB. Why? Because that specific version is supported longer and so for enterprise you can still be on Windows 10 20 H2 and still have updates for security and for bug fixes technically these are done because the enterprise versions are of course more expensive than the standard version that everybody gets and so for that licensing fee you also get that possibility of having versions of Windows that last longer. Typical long-term support builds for Windows are either two or three years. And of course, that means you can stay on and wait for a long time. Um, so this happens for a reason, is that enterprise mostly hate having to upgrade all the time to new versions. So what they'll have is they'll have a extended version that keeps them there for a longer time than most people. Uh, like I said, if you have a browser like a Chrome, Google Chrome has long-term support. Sometimes you'll see that there are long-term support versions of browsers that get security updates. Um, most people, the security updates come through these updates and new versions, but the long-term support means you could be two, three versions behind still get security updates and are, are still safe because you're in a different branch. Like I said, typically these are enterprise um, only and um, it is meant to make sure that you don't have to update as often as everybody else. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.